Okay, this is going to be an analysis on everything I could find on the film. So if you haven't seen it yet, spoilers. Before we talk about all the characters and the clothes they were wearing, I would like to quickly mention the crew, the people who are behind that film, because they're often not mentioned, but they're actually crucial. The fact that it was all women, you know, an unbelievable director who has a vision as good as anyone else I've worked with, who is a woman, you know, an unbelievable adaptation by an unbelievably brilliant writer who is a woman. You know, with the best costume designer there is, a woman, you know, every, every department. And it feels great, so, you know, I feel kind of the best set atmosphere ever. Nick Emerson edited everything. Now, to the film. The film follows the four seasons, autumn, winter, spring and summer. It's probably a bit more than a year because the first part is shown where the picture of autumn appears. It's funny to me that they chose autumn as name and not the American term fall because <laughs> the director is called autumn. So I kind of suspect that this is on purpose. But maybe for sophistication, they just chose the English term, which is based on the French one. Anyway. The protagonist is, of course, Emma, and then her love interest, Mr. Knightley, who's played by the musician Johnny Flynn, whose first ever film I've watched countless of times. Um, it's called... Crusade in Jeans is, is a story about a boy who gets blasted back. So I find myself in this adventure in the 13th century, basically, in the middle of the children's crusade. It's kind of a coming-of-age story. Most of you probably know him from Lovesick. So Emma's older sister, Elizabeth, is married to Mr. Knightley's younger brother. I assume he's younger because Mr. Knightley inherited the that house. That was unendurable. Husband, comport yourself. And the house normally goes to the oldest brother and not to the younger one. Then, of course, we have Emma's father, Mr. Woodhouse. Or Papa. He's afraid that he or his associate get ill. Papa Woodhouse also doesn't seem to think too highly of Mr. Knightley. On the contrary, Mr. John Knightley looks far from well. Evidently, I may not survive. I see what you did there, Mr. Woodhouse. I see what you did there. Miss Taylor slash Mrs. Western is Emma's governess and she marries Mr. Western. Who is Frank's father? Frank, who grew up with his aunt and finally comes to Highbury after he did not show up several times before. Jane visits her aunt in Highbury a bit before Frank Churchill arrives. Jane is Miss Bates' niece. Then we have, of course, Harriet, Emma's friend, and her love interest, Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin is a tenant farmer of Mr. Knightley. Connor Swindles was also in sex education. Mr. Martin has two sisters, and Harriet stayed the summer at theirs. That's how she knows them. Mrs. Martin thinks you the most handsome woman in all of Highbury. <laughs> The Martins are of precisely the order of people with whom I feel I can have nothing to do. Mr. Elton is the vicar of Highbury. Mr. Collins at your service. Mrs. Elton is a so-called nouveau riche. So, new money. Like Mr. Weston as well, they were both tradesmen. Not too soon. 